For me, the YU Post Pesach program was fantastic. You know, coming from Israel, you might think that you're coming into an intimidating situation and it might be very hard to get, to get used to, but the Post Pesach program allowed you to take a few credits, take a few classes, and allowed you to really ease into the program and ease into YU. The uniqueness of the morning shear in the post Pesach program is that it's specifically designated for the post Pesach guys. So by default, it's a very small class. The Rebbe is designated there for you, and you get to learn on a high level. There were a lot of great exclusive learning opportunities in this program, and I got to hear from key speakers like Rabbi J.J. Schachter and Rabbi Brander. It was really great. Because of the program, I felt like I had a head start into the fall semester, and I felt very prepared to take on a full course load. So I knew that I was going to be in Sims coming into Post Pesach, the business school. The good thing is that Post Pesach, they had enough of an array of classes that you could be in the business school and take business classes like accounting one or management, but then also take diaspora literature, which was a core class. So it helped me take care of two of my requirements, and for someone who maybe isn't in the business school, you know, they can take care of Jewish history and diaspora literature or whatever it may be. And they offered an array of classes that really made that great. One of the best parts of the program are the events that take place outside the classroom. One of the highlights of the year in YU is the special Yom Atzmo lunch, which they have in the gym where everyone's together. There's Carlos and Gabby's, the Rebbeim are there, the guys are there. And luckily for us, post Pesach coincides with the Yom Atzmo day. So we were all able to enjoy and take part in one of the biggest events that YU has every year. I'm in the Smicha program at YU now, and looking back, I really see how the relationships that I built during my time in the program have lasted me until this day. I think the number one piece of advice I could give to guys coming back from Israel is take advantage. A lot of times guys get into this mindset that, you know, I'm leaving Israel, that, you know, my life is over, I don't know what I'm going to do, and they don't realize that there's so much potential for growth, and post Pesach just allows that, it, you know, it perpetuates that growth, and if you have a mindset that, you know, I'm not going to enjoy it, then yeah, you won't enjoy anything you do, but if you, if you have a mindset that I'm going to go in, and I'm going I'm to enjoy it, I'm going to take advantage of the shiurim, all the extracurricular opportunities they offer, the amazing classes, the guys, everything that they have to offer, you'll have an amazing time, and you're going to be growing while doing it.